Uh, I think so. I think in the game, too. And look, I'm not mad at a three-run homer. But sometimes a three-run homer could be a little bit of a rally killer. And I want to have a little bit of fun with some of these teams that are left. And we can start with Philadelphia because they dropped a six spot in the wild card round against the Cards. So let's go ahead and let's play this thing forward. And we're going to have a little fun with this. So like I said, let's go to St. Louis. And Riamuto started this off. And I want to take a look at some things. And you know what I like to do, d Rowe. Keep that frozen for me. So we set the stage. They're down two. It's the ninth inning. It's one out. It's a 1-1 pitch. He hits this ball 76 miles an hour. Nah. He stays on a slider, play it forward, and finds green grass somewhere. And when green grass happens, it allows another guy to come up to home plate. Now, the Cardinals shot themselves in the foot as this thing went, because this next at bat with Bryce Harbor gets a 3-2 pitch. He spits on that breaking ball. He walks. Castellanos comes up. 3-1 count first and second. He didn't even want to walk either. It looked like he wanted to stay there. <laughs> he never walked. And then Bohm gets drilled. That's a nice ribeye steak sandwich right there, by the way. One run in. Now the work starts. And watch Gene Segura right here. And we're going to keep this thing frozen for me. Keep that frozen. 2-2 two, two count, one out, bases juice. This says I'm not striking out. That pitch is ridiculous that he stayed on it long enough to hit it. Good. He hits it 88 miles an hour at a negative four. No launch. launch. Negative four. Play it forward, please. He finds a little hole on the right side. We got a ball getting through. We got runners coming around on plate. Everybody's happy. Everybody's excited. We're going to keep the work going as we go with not striking out. Here's the theme. Stock comes up. Keep that frozen for me, please. One, two count. Three, two game. This is still within hand, right? The cards can come back from this if, if, if they must. 84 miles an hour, negative two. He stays on the baseball. He, he's matured before my eyes. He's a player. He ain't Stop. punching. Now, he hits his ball at Goldschmidt. Yeah. Goldschmidt tries to make a play, doesn't. It, it was just one of those plays. Sometimes people say you get lucky in the game. Well, if you swing and miss and you strike out, there ain't no luck. No luck. You walk there. back. All right, the caveman comes up next. Beats this ball into the ground. Negative 14 at 89 miles an hour on a 2-2 count. No punchy. Play it forward, please. Let it roll. And this is the luck right here because Arenado didn't make a play. You got a gold glover, Goldschmidt at first that was caught in between. Arenado got caught in between. But things happen when you put in play. And then they're going to round out the rally right here. And I'll give you this with Schwartz. He hits his ball hard. That's a hundy. I'm good with that. Play it forward, please. Let it roll. He hits it to the deepest part of the field, a St. Louis. Sack, a sack fly. A lousy it. sack fly ribeye steak sandwich. Love they, the sack they, fly. They drop a six spot on the cards, dismiss them, then they went on to Atlanta, dismiss them as they go. And once again, I'm not discounting homers. I like homers, but I also like some of this. Now, this is Straw leading off. Not your ideal 1-0 swing. But he hits at 67. He could flirples it into short left field. Miles, there's more in the tank there, by the way. Oh, there, there, there could be. But he ends up at second base. Watch this beautiful oh thing my right God, here. This guy's like, he, he's Keep snapper. that frozen. Keep that frozen for me because there's a 2-1 count. This almost looks like when the back two-hand backhand got introduced in tennis. <laughs> I'm just going to serve that <laughs> out there. Is. Play it forward, please. And watch his reaction at first base like, yeah, I knew what I was doing right there. Yeah, no, no, stop it. That was a half swing. All right, this one right here with Rosario. He hits this ball hard. I want to point that out at 102. First and third situation, play it forward here. And I want you to watch this swing because this is not a homer swing. This is a barrel beating the baseball to the path. And he hits a missile, drives in a run, keeps it going. Jose Ramirez is going to come up. Watch this. this. Watch this. They Watch freeze this that for me, please. Keep that frozen. Because I'd like to point this out. And I am a firm believer that Jose Ramirez saw that when he went up to home plate. He saw what was going on, where they were playing. He goes, I've got some real estate over there. Now, I don't think he's trying to hit it like this. But I think his thought process was, i got to go to that side. Play it forward, please. This was beautiful. Freeze it. Keep it frozen. 57 miles an hour. I might have thrown that out there left-handed at 57 miles an hour. But you look at the situation up there. He pushes that ball to the right side knowing there was real estate over there. Now, is that lucky? Sure, it's lucky. But he put the ball in play and good things happen. He's happy about it. And then SpongeBob comes up. And this was an outstanding at bat right here. Keep that frozen, please. Hold that for me. Base is drunk, one, two. 
There's two outs. This is the season. If he swings and misses this, right? I'm with you. See you later. But instead, he stays on and hits a rocket up the middle. What would have been heartbreaking? What would have been exciting for the Yankee fans? He almost backhand picks this. Watch really? this thing right here. Play it. Oh, that was close, dude. And he had just punched out Naylor on three nasty right. breaking balls down and in. He's happy. I want you to watch this replay. Look at that collapse. Yeah, refuse to punch. Don't punch. Refuse to punch out. Don't punch. And I don't know what that is, but I'm excited for him. <laughs> San Diego, they dropped the five spot in one inning the other day. So here's it starts. Uh-oh. Walk when you're losing three nothing, no outs. All right, Trent Grisham is hitting 9,000 yeah, in, in the, the playoffs. Uh, he hits this ball good. I'm not going to argue with that. That's 99. Ball out over the plate. Play it forward, please. Tommy Canely is a change-up monster. But he hits this ball hard, finds real estate. <laughs> Tough play. They go first and third right here. Now the work starts to begin again. And I just love the San Diego Padres approach up at home plate. This one's going to be beautiful, and you got to bear with me on this. Mm. Pause that. Keep it frozen. 69 miles an hour, negative 42. O2 2 count. Negative 42 uh, degree launch angle, but look down there at that bug. O2, first and third. Oh, is there a little bit of luck right here? Sure there is, play it forward here. Freddie Freeman chooses to dive for this ball, it hits off his glove, no one's out. Run scored first and second. But he put the ball in play. Now we've got us a little game, we're moving on. All right, Hassan Kim. He just moved the third baseman in, possibly with a bunt. Negative 21 at 93. He hit a good. It's a hard ground ball. told him, no, I don't want you bunting in this situation. But I already have brought a, him in, Skip. Let's have a big hit. So let's see what happens. Play it forward. Is wow. there luck there? Sure. Yes. There's a little bit of luck, but he finds real estate. There's no luck if he swings and misses and goes back to the dugout. Look at him. He's excited. This one right here, this one's good right here. Keep that frozen for me. Keep that frozen for me. Get him over, get him in. Thank you, <laughs> because you're looking down here at the bug. This tells you what we need to do. Second and third. And that ball is out over the plate, and Soto reaches around and hooks it. Now he hits it good at 95, right? But he was doing a job. Get him over, get him in, play it. Because that's exactly what happened. All right, we're sitting there on the knock. They let him go to second base. And of course, he's got to do something with a little bit of flavor. He's going to skip on in there and get to second base. Now, watch this at bat right here, and, and bear with me right here. I'm in on Jake Crono. This is just awesome. All right, keep that frozen for me. This is a 2-2 pitch. That's a slide ball out over the plate. Slide ball out over the plate, and he hits this missile back up the middle to drive in two more. Play it. And I want you to look at these swings as we go, because I had big Jim Tomey with me last night. We did a drill from behind soft toss that made me think about this. Mm. Freeze that on contact for me. Okay, because what's, what's interesting, and when I was with Jim last night doing this drill, in order for a lefty to stay on a lefty slider away, he's got to let the ball get deep, right? But me and Jim did this drill the other day, soft toss from behind. Jim was hitting that way. Yeah. And we were doing this because you really catch it out front. But as Jim says, I have to watch it. So I really have to stay on the ball and get this in order to hit it. Watch his hands right here. Watch his top hand take over. Play it. I mean, that's getting to it and through it long. And then the angle that I really like here is his backside leaks a little bit. Yee! But his hands didn't. And he stayed through it, and he hit the ball to the big part of the field. Juan with a great Steve. secondary. He's jumping off there and driving it, uh, the scoring beauty, runs. It's the beauty of postseason baseball. You're having team ABs. Yes. It's not about putting up numbers. It's about having team ABs consistent. Because it's not a salary drive. Because it's you know, not. If, if you win, that's a big purse at the it's end. It's tough of to the play ring. like that for Buck 62, though. It, I it may depends, argue with you. I know. It depends <laughs> on the makeup of your team, obviously. I think guardian. you can. And like I said, homers are great. Because that one swing of the bat all of a sudden changes the game. But when you got that going on, and, and by the way, when the Phils scored six in St. Louis, they also scored Phils, uh, six against, against the, the Bravos. Braves, and they had a couple homers in there, too, couple though. Tokies. So they did it all yeah. in that inning. But I, I like the fact that these dudes can score runs. I and those it. are big innings, big rallies, comeback wins, and things like that.